Hey guys, as you saw from the intro, this one is gonna be one hell of a tough game. And I'm gonna be honest, I really thought that we'll have almost no chance of winning this at all. You'll probably share the same feeling as you keep watching. In this match, I'll be playing Bane. It seems like after a recent buff he received, he's a very solid pick for the jungler role. Most pro players build him as a tank, so that's exactly what I will go for. Sir, what's your command? Not gonna lie, when I saw their draft, I was a bit worried because they have a lot of synergy. Farsa can instantly lower her target's HP to less than half, and Fanny will just finish them off. Also, they got tons of CC with Cho and Gato. The only one that is less meta is Yin Su Xing. He's really not that great when playing the gold lane. As usual, I don't want to deal with Fanny invading my red buff, so I will start with it first. Trying to fight Fanny in the jungle in the early game is just asking to get snowballed. Just by seeing the way she used her cable, I could tell she has pulled a good amount of practice and our Hanabi will have a hard time surviving. The Cho also seems to know what he's doing. He caught the lane and is being quite proactive. Most of our heroes are quite weak in the early game, and they are definitely taking advantage of it. Oof, that was a very late ult from Sask. There is really not much we can do to stop Fanny's gang. All we can do is farm as quickly as possible and hopefully have enough firepower to deal with her later in the game. Let's try to push the bot lane since our mage and roamer went top. We did manage to get all the gold from the turret shield, but they managed to completely destroy our top turret. They are still in the driver's seat very comfortably. The score is already 2 9. It's gonna be tough to contest the turtle. We might just have to give it away. I don't ride the tide. I take it.
Having to face a decent fanny when you're playing a squishy marksman or mage is probably one of the worst feelings. Moonton really doesn't know what to do with her because they keep buffing or nerfing her constantly and they either make her very strong or super weak. I actually thought that Bane's ult would boost his movement speed. This Cho has been completely dominating his lane. Yep, not even gonna bother trying to contest it. Fortunately, they didn't go for the Lord instead. Here's when I noticed that our Hanabi didn't buy boots this whole time. Maybe she thought she was playing 1 1. I actually didn't want to purchase the Curse Helmet. This item is not that great, even for tanks. I will go more in detail about it in another video. We might have a chance if they keep turret diving us and we pick them off one by one. No way he still had old. They are way ahead. Fanny, Fars and Cho are having a really good time. And for some reason, our Hanabi still hasn't bought boots yet. I would have kept fighting them, but once I saw the rest of my team was not following along, I had to go back. Not only is Fanning a big threat, but the other three also know what they are doing. Somehow Fanny survived from that. That's not.
I'm gonna be frank, at this point, I was seriously starting to think that we had almost no chance to make a comeback. Every time we engage them, we are not gonna have a marksman, because they will just one shot her right away, and the rest of us don't deal that much damage, except our mage. Fortunately their marksman also seems to be quite inexperienced and make a lot of questionable plays. That's the only thing we can hold on to in this match. Well, some people just like to spend most of their time chatting rather than playing. We are already this deep into the game, might as well play it through. I'm not sure if I can defend this by myself. Alright, at least we cleared the wave and my team are responding already. XT. Fanny is kind of throwing. She probably thinks there's absolutely no way we have a chance to make a comeback. Understandably so. After Fanny, their biggest damage dealer is their mage, so if we can somehow get her out of the picture first, we might have a chance to win the team fight. It's so hard to get her when we have almost no hero to dive their backline. I just learned that Bane's ult overrides Kaya's ult. We definitely have to go for the lore here, but it's not guaranteed, because Fanny can just fly here and steal it quite easily. But it seems like Fanny had a different plan and wanted to end the game. Still, we are doing this very slowly, Fanny will definitely have time to contest this. The only way we can guarantee the last hit is if Kaya can hold her on time, but he just used it a moment ago. It wouldn't be a bad idea to take our time and wait until Kaya gets his ult back. But I guess we just gotta leave it to a 50-50 chance, because Kaya ain't stopping. That was really close. Look at this dude. Initial. 
I'm speechless. We didn't accomplish anything at all with a lord, not even a single turret. At this point, I would rather have immortality than boot, but in hindsight, I should have just sold the curse helmet instead. Also, I will prioritize Winter Truncheon so I can do the sell and buy trip. But I didn't notice, I still like the Feather Heavy instead. Smiley face. I bought Feather Heaven. But you know what? Actually, if I had activated Winter Truncheon there instead, I most likely would have died there. Anyway, I need the boots back because I will need it for the Lord. Their marksman is in top lane, so it doesn't seem that they are planning to go for the lore yet. The ocean Their marksman is out of position. If we can kill him now, we should be in a good spot to take the lord. I'll be more patient with my ult and wait until he uses his dash. I will try to go for their mage. Again. 
I'm really surprised that even though they keep getting the better trades, they are struggling a lot to finish the game. I don't want to waste my retribution here, I need it for the Lord. Yep, they are doing it. It's gonna be tough though, because they got the number advantage and my teammates are kinda far. I need to keep their marksmen out of our nexus range as long as possible. I actually thought we were gonna lose there. Damn it, they got our main damage dealer, and he won't be back when the next lord respawn. This is looking rough. Good thing that they are putting a lot of focus on me, since I can soak up a lot of their damage. I really doubt we can stop the next super minion push, we gotta contest it. Hanabi actually redeemed herself at the end, that was a huge play. Once again, that's why you should let your teammates cook, even if they are doing really poorly throughout the whole match.
was really surprised that we managed to pull this one off. Usually, I will be a bit more optimistic if I was playing a hero that is really good for the late game and can deal a lot of damage without relying too much on the team. But somehow in this match, my teammates made some very crucial plays at the very end. It seems like lately, it's been proving more and more that it's really not about how you start or how you finish.